So uh, here in Studio One, uh, what you need to do here is I have a, a set of drums uh, kind of queued up here and I'll play them for you. This is what I got. So good sounding drums. They're actually recorded really, really well. Um, my guy Ashton Smith, one of the guy drummers that I use on pretty much all of my projects, records really, really clean. But this song, and I, I don't, I'm not playing the other audio from this for obvious reasons. But uh, so I just pulled the drums in the session so you guys can uh, hear the drums, and we really kind of focus on that. But um, you know, this particular song is like a CCM style song, so it's got uh, it needs a big kind of snare. And when I listen to his snare. It's cool, but you know, it's not as big as we want it. So of course we're gonna remedy this by samples. So in order to use the samples in Studio One uh, without trigger, without using trigger, that's what we're focusing on, without using trigger, we're gonna have to do a couple of things. The first thing that we're gonna do is, is use what they call strip silence. This is a feature that is built into Studio One. I think it's also built into uh, Pro Tools, uh, but uh, it's a feature that is uh, built into Studio One that basically acts like a gate. And it's in Logic too. We'll show you that in a little bit. But uh, it basically acts as a gate and it kind of cuts through a lot of uh, the other stuff because we want to isolate just the snare to where we can be able to uh, duplicate it and then add a sample to it and convert it to MIDI and all those things like that. So uh, we'll go up here to Strip Silence and there's this uh, little, it's right up here, and there's this little thing called your open threshold and your closed threshold. You kind of got to play with this just from my experience. Some people can get it dead on. They know what to do. Uh, but from my experience, I just kind of play with these numbers, the open and the close, until I get the, the hits isolated. This is one of the ways I use to clean tums and things like that. Uh, but so we'll start with it. It's at negative 23 dB. Uh, on the open and 3240 on the close. Uh, and so we'll hit apply. Uh, I didn't really mess with any of these other settings. It's just literally default what pops up. And I just changed the open and close. So I'll hit apply. And as you can see, it did kind of isolate some of the snares, but I got a bunch of other, you know, unwanted hits in here because it's reading like some of the tums and things like that. So we'll undo it and then we'll lower or bring up the open threshold uh, to, let's try negative 12 and see what that does. So, got me a little bit closer, but I'm still getting some hits in here, so we'll lower it uh, even more. So you just kinda have to, again, you got to play with it because all audio is not created equal. So we'll try about five dB, let's try there and see what happens, perfect. Look at that. So now, boom, perfect, isolated hits. Those are all my snares right there, uh, all isolated and together. So you can see you have to scan through it because sometimes it does pick up some stuff. I'm pretty sure those are snares, but it's picking up some little extra stuff right here. You kind of got to listen to uh, and like it picks up this extra tail right here. So it picked up that, you know, that, that little tail right there, that tom. So we could just bring that back or we can go and play with our, our threshold a little bit more and maybe get it a little bit tighter. But we'll just focus on this little section right here. So I select all of those files and then what I'm gonna do is hit Command B and that's going to bounce it in place so I have all of these snares now uh, nice and tight and isolated. And then here's the second part of this. You're gonna to go to the quantize area up here in uh, Studio One, right next to Strip Silence is quantize. And over here where you have grid and groove, you're gonna click on groove. And we're just gonna take this um, track right here, this region, and we're gonna drag it up here and drop it. And that isolates that. So we're gonna hold that in place. And then I'm going to go over here to instruments 
and let's just grab impact. You can do this with presence. We're going to do it with impact for right now. Uh, we have a MIDI track with impact on it and we're just going to drag this down from the quantize area here to where it is and line them up. So once I double click, now you can see all of my little MIDI hits right there. And they're also reading, the, it also reads the velocity because some of the velocities, it actually, you know, picked up all of the velocities and brought it in for MIDI. So uh, now the only thing left to do is on this track, on the impact track, is to um, add the sample in on here that we want to use. I'm gonna move this out of the way for just a second because it's hitting on C3, that's what I wanted to see. So now that means we need to go over here and find C3, which is here. And we'll go to files. And then we'll go into the Yash. I'm just navigating to my Yash drum warehouse folder over here in the browser. And uh, I can play around with some of the different ones I want, but I've kind of played around a little bit before to fig figure out which one I wanted to use on this track. And the Nashville uh, wallet snare um, kind of does it for me. Has a nice, deep Nashville country kind of sound. And that's what you want for this type of, you know, CCM type vibe that we're going for. So we're going to take that, drag it on C3. So now we got that in there. Let's play it and see what we got. So instantly the vibe changed just like that uh, with being able to do that. So we've got that set in there. Uh, and let's say we want to um, add in some room tone. So I could use the one with room. I, we do have a room only, uh, a, like a room with room set, set uh, sample that's got the room in there, but I wanna be able to play around and adjust the room volume myself. So we'll come up here We'll duplicate this track complete, just duplicate it complete. And then we'll grab room only, which sounds like this. And we'll grab that room. Well, let's see, let's open up impact first. And we're just gonna replace this sample with the room sample. And then let's take a listen now. And just make those adjustments and blend it to the taste, you know what I'm saying? To how you want it to sound, to how you want it to feel uh, there. So I'll play it again without the samples and then I'll bring the samples in and then you'll see the difference that it makes just by doing it that way. So huge difference. And that's the way that you can do it inside of Studio One without using Trigger. It's a little bit more of a convoluted way of doing it. You have to go through a few extra steps in order to make it happen, but you can easily bring in, um, bring in you know, these snares and layer them in using like impact or even presence um, and use whatever one shots and layer multiple snares and get it as big or as fat or as, tight as you want it to be um, but it's it's really really dope uh, way that you can use this inside of um, studio one